Indianapolis Colts on the road visiting the Buffalo Bills. The Bills, seven point favorites, doing exactly what we thought they would. Just you, I know you liked the Jets this past week. We didn't do it because I just felt like this is so predictably a blowout spot. Easy <laughs> to say in hindsight. Colts plus seven. It's tricky. I like. This is when you pound these matches. When Chad doesn't know what to do and he's like, it's kind of gross. I don't want to take it. Pound, pound, pound the Colts. Love, love, love this matchup. The Bills Tell me team, why. They've played two top 20 defenses. Do you remember who they were, Chad? Who's played them? The Bills or the Colts? Yeah, the Bills have played only two top 20 defenses this year. They played Pittsburgh. They lost. They played Tennessee. They lost. Colts are a top 20 defense and a good defense. Better than Tennessee. Some could argue even better than Pittsburgh, especially at this point in the season. Love everything about this matchup. Calling for bad weather. Living up here in the Northeast, we have a big storm coming. It's going to drop the temperature by 30 degrees all across the board. We got a cold game, maybe some bad weather on Sunday in Buffalo. The best running back in football right now is arguably Jonathan Taylor. The best offensive line arguably in football right now are the Colts. Everything just points to this Colts team. I made this line three and a half. It's seven and a half at some books right now, this Colts team. Love it. Take, Give me the Colts. Give me the Colts on the money line. Such a bad spot for this Bills team. You're getting a good number on an undervalued team with an overhyped team in the Bills. And the bookmakers, to me, are giving you four extra points. I can't not take this nine. 